Welcome to Reality Hunt Club. This webisode, we're talking about putting our trail cameras out. We're done with turkey season, and now it's time to focus on the deer. Stay tuned. May 16th so turkey season is over with so now it's time to put our trail cameras out now the purpose of putting our trail cameras out is basically three things one is to spot our bucks and see how their antler growth the other one is all about trying to see the fawns drop how many single fawns twin fawns triplets and stuff like that and the third thing is just to try to get a consensus of how many does we have on video you know how many does we have try to figure out how many does we need to shoot for the upcoming year now, last year we ran about 25 cameras. This year we're going to cut that back dramatically. The reason we're going to cut that back dramatically is our crops are growing good. We've got 20 acres of peanuts, 7 acres of grain sorghum, 3 acres of iron clay peas, 3 acres of corn. So apparently all the deer are going to congregate to these food plots that we have positioned and basically it's in the middle of our club. So. I mean, there's 20 acres of peanuts. There's probably anywhere from 10 to 25, maybe even 30 deer out in these peanuts every night. It's just ate up with tracks. So we're going to focus these cameras around the edges of these fields. And theoretically, we're going to put a little corn here to track them over here in front of the camera. But theoretically, all the deer around these areas should congregate to these, to these big open um, spring and summer food plots during the night sometime. And we should be able to get them documented on, on camera. So we're going to be able to cut our cameras in half. Now what we are going to do is on the edges of our property where it's a long distance from these food plots, we're going to, we're going to run the cameras and the corn and try to identify um, some of the deer, bucks and does and fawns that might not be traveling the long distance to these food plots. So it's a little bit different strategy than last year. I like this strategy better because it's a lot of work maintaining 25, 28, I think one time we had 28 different cameras out looking for deer and putting the corn out so obviously we've got all these food pots we're going to be able to reduce money by not having to put as much corn out now we're still going to go to the edges like i said and we're going to try to find those bucks that might not be traveling to these food plots so this is our strategy for this season and um i got some um, photos of some bucks already that we got during turkey season we also moved some of the cameras around looking for gobblers and stuff like that so some of these pictures are before May 15th, but you can see their antlers growing. We got one buck that's in these peanuts that's got a, a good strong left side, I think it was, and he's not growing anything on the right side. I don't think he's broken off already um, during this you know, young antler growing season. I think it's a buck that we had last year that had the same situation that was a nice two and a half year old buck. Hadn't looked at the pictures hard enough. I'm gonna show you in these photos now. Maybe I'll say yes or no whether it matches or not. I'm real disappointed to see a nice buck like that only having one side of his antlers. But, you know, it is what it is. So, so anyway, this webisode I want to talk to you about our trail cameras. So we're probably going to run about 12, maybe 15, a lot less than we did last year. And stay tuned and we'll start showing you these pictures. I think last year we ran three, three webisodes where we had um, photos that we could show you guys of what was taking place. I think it was a batch one, batch two, and batch three about every four weeks. So stay tuned, we'll run those again if we get some good pictures. If not, we'll do something. So stay tuned, we're always creating, we're up here working. Um, even though it's May, we're getting ready for deer season now. So thanks for watching Rally Hunt Club. We have a ton of ways for you guys to follow us and to keep track of our new videos that we put out. Uh, probably the most popular way is Facebook. Log into your Facebook account and go up to the top search bar and type Reality Hunt Club. There you'll see our Facebook page. Go over and like, like us 
and you'll be getting updates in your Facebook stream as to our um, new videos that come out. Another way is youtube.com forward slash toxic givens. Click the subscribe button up at the top. And you can subscribe. And, of course, you can always leave your comments in Facebook. You also can do it here in YouTube. This is, so, this is me showing you an example of how to leave a comment in YouTube. And, of course, we have a Twitter account, too. You can follow at Toxic Givens if you have a Twitter account. And, of course, we have the website, ToxicGivens.com. You can follow us there. And if, you want, if you've got an iPhone or any kind of MP3 device, you can, you can click on the link iTunes, and we, we have an iTunes channel where you can download a smaller version of these videos. And finally, we're on Google+. Plus. If you, you, you log in your Google Plus account and you type Reality Hunt Club, it'll take you to our Google Plus page. So many ways to follow us. Pick one, pick them all, however you want to. Please follow us and uh, keep track of our videos, and we'll keep bringing you good content And um, from this point on. So thanks for watching Reality Hunt Club.